Hi again then guys, and so we've got another Gran Turismo 6 top speed tune for you today. And this time, as with most of my JGTC top speed tunes, this is indeed a teaser for today's Tour of Japan episode. And this is the Motel Ortec GT500 class Nissan GTR. So, you want your racing soft tyres of course. For suspension we've got the ride height on 55 front and rear. Springs we've rounded off to 1550 and 1675. Dampers and anti-roll to 4, camber on 2.5, neutral toe as ever. For the gearbox we have got an auto setting of 230, then for the individual gears we've got 3.8, second, third, fourth and fifth all the way to the left, and sixth on 800 with a final drive of 3.3. For the diff, same as usual with these top speed setups, low initial torque to reduce wheel spin off the line, high acceleration and low braking. Both of your power upgrades, of course, and of course you want your downforce set to the minimum. Traction control is also turned off, as always. And so this, in its stock, stock of course being a relative term, but in its stock form, the Ortec GTR is actually the least powerful of the R35 generation JGTC cars, which is interesting. It has around 30 or 40 horsepower less than the other models, such as the Yellow Hat GTR. Interestingly, though, the performance and the spec when fully tuned pretty much breaks even with the other GTRs, which is kind of strange. You'd expect it, of course, to have less power fully tuned, considering it has less power to begin with. But it just doesn't work like that. Which is pretty cool, because it means that the car actually isn't at a disadvantage compared to the others. Now obviously, as with all of these top speed tunes for my Super GT cars, I don't want to get into it too much, because of course I'll be doing the review for it later on today. But overall, the GTR from what I've seen is one of the most popular JGTC models. Not hard to understand why. The GTR road version is of course a very strong car all round, and the racing version... No, not surprisingly really, is also very strong all round. It has a very high top speed for the Super GT class. It's up there with the Yellow Hat Supra to be pretty much the fastest of the regular JGTC models. Cruising speed on this one is around 240, 241. As far as draft potential, you've got around probably three or 400 RPM. So not a ton of draft potential. You probably slipstream up to 250. Maybe a little bit more, but not much more than that. So as with most of my Super GT tunes, this is more just for the car on its own for when you need that kind of speed on a high-speed track like Fuji or Le Mans, for instance. So if you do actually plan to use this car for Route X racing or Route 7, where you actually do need that advanced draft potential, then obviously just extend the fin uh, final drive a little bit more, say down to three or even lower than that but overall yeah it's, it's a very strong car one of the most powerful super gt machines and very popular all round for its pp it's it's a formidable opponent around the track not just in the super gt class but also just for racing cars in general so if you decide to use this tune obviously i hope you find it helpful and it's a definitely competitive car and if you're new to the channel or just found this helpful overall feel free to subscribe. I put out new top speed tunes for racing cars like this, but also road cars all the time. And as always, thanks for watching.